Hey everyone, this is Dan with Virtual Administrator. I am coming to you live from my car. I'm actually driving to the Microsoft Store. And I'm driving there because Network Depot is going to be presenting live Paul Barnett, uh, the COO at Network Depot, uh, formerly with Virtual Administrator, some of you may know him, uh, is going to be presenting live at the Microsoft Store. Uh, this is a really cool way that Network Depot has kind of thought up to try and build some brand recognition um, and some and build some you know some new customers to our business. Uh, I want to take just a second and talk to you about doing live events and what they do for you. Number one, how to get into a live event or how to how to get access to a live event. Usually when you want to do a live event, the most important thing that you need to start with is asking. <laughs> a lot of people forget that step. They think, oh, I'll never get a chance to get into a live event. And this defeatist attitude just kills them right from the get-go. It is important, super, super, super important that you get a chance to do live events as often as possible. We do it at Virtual Administrator quite simply. We just pay money and we go up and we show up as a vendor at live events. And you know what? If that's all that you can do, then that's all that you can do. And that's just, that's enough to start. If you can find your target customer and you can show up and you can shake their hand and you can smile, excuse me, that sneeze. If you can show up, smile, and shake their hand, um, that's enough. That's a good start. But live events and actually speaking and presenting at live events takes it even a step further. And oftentimes you can get plenty of free speaking opportunities in front of people and use those opportunities as a chance to build your brand. So what does live events give you? Live events give you the opportunity to grow your company, um, to grow your brand, to grow the trust in your brand. People need to know that you know what the hell you're talking about. And sometimes getting up and talking to them about it gives them the opportunity to do that, or it gives you the opportunity to show them that. Um, they also see you. They see you more than they would have seen you otherwise. Um, and that putting you in front of them gives you credentials. Even if it's just at the local chamber or at your BNI, um, it actually gives you the opportunity to um, to use those credentials even when you're in a sales situation. You can say, like, you can put on your website, look, I've been featured at BNI or I've been featured at the local chamber or in Network Depot's case, we've been featured at the Microsoft store. That's a big credential, um, even though it's really not that big a deal. It's like, hey, we're showing up, we're at the Microsoft store, we're going to talk for you know 30 minutes to an hour or something like that, and just share something nice and simple with people. And that's it. Um, you could also run a class. Running a class somewhere and then allowing someone to host that class, like a great example. Um, I, uh, I, didn't, I never actually did a class like this, but I, when I ran my own MSP, I actually teamed up with the local... Um, Cartridge World, which was a print management company, you know, they, they fill cartridges nice and cheap. You can say, hey, look, we've been featured at Cartridge World or at, um, you know, whatever the local print management place is. It's a great place to team up and share business uh, with those people because they need business badly and they are happy to share business with you um, if you're able to, you know, to deliver some, some needs to them as well. Um, you know, and, and being able to borrow these other brands and use them to bolster your own is huge because these other companies have put a lot of time and effort into building their own brand and so they can share that with you. So uh, the last piece I want to talk about before we actually go in and check it out, we'll, we'll talk to some of the people there, um, is just what do, <coughs> what do you present when you're doing a live event? And I haven't done, I haven't heard anything about what it is they're going to be presenting at the Microsoft Store, but I'm just going to give you my opinion of what it is that you need to present when you're doing these kind of live events. Number one, you need to pick a very, very specific niche and use that niche um, as your target. So if you're going to be presenting um, at a BNI group, Maybe it's a good idea to tackle mortgage companies or real estate companies. Then what you need to do is you need to find information that's relevant to what it is that you do, but isn't salesy. You're not selling yourself when you have a chance to do a live presentation. If you do a sales pitch, it happens in the last five to ten minutes of the presentation at the most. Because the sales, the sales pitch should just be, hey, 
you know, if you want to work with me, then I'm here to work with you. What you're really there to do is to provide value straight out, flat out. That is all that you're there to do. You want people to walk away feeling like, hey, I have learned something amazing today. And, um, you know, that becomes easier the further down you niche your presentation. So the further down you focus your presentation on a specific industry, the more value you can actually provide. So it's always important to try and provide the most information possible um, to a specific people group. And then at the very end, you can always say, hey, look, you know, I work with X company, or this is my company, and we have the opportunity to, you know, to uh, work with people that are, and then you can say, we, you know, we work with people with real estate uh, companies, or we work with mortgage companies to make sure that they can set up their IT in a secure fashion. So, um, uh, you know, doctors are another great niche, obviously. A lot of people working in, in healthcare right now. Um, so, I mean, there's lots and lots of opportunities, lots of different ways that you can figure out how to connect with these different companies. So I think that about sums it up. Uh, hopefully that there was some gem that you pulled out of this. <laughs> uh, I, I really enjoyed doing these car casts, and I think that it was, it's just fun to, to, you know, while you're driving, you have nothing to do, so you might as well just start talking to your camera, right? And uh, that, that's what I'm doing here. So um, we're going to go ahead and see if we can get some footage from the live event, and uh, obviously it'll be tacked on at the end of this video, and we'll uh, see more about what it is that... Network Depot did at the Microsoft Store. Paul um, just gave a presentation to a handful of Network Depot prospects, and uh, and so I wanted to just talk to you for you know, just a second, uh, just about you know what you did, why you did it, um, you know what what was the topic and stuff like that. So let's just um, let's just take it off real quick. You know, what, what was it that you um, just spoke about? So today we did uh, business continuity and disaster recovery. Uh, it's a hot subject for uh, business clients. Uh, People want to know how to run the business if things go sideways. So that's what we talked about today. Um, I will tell you that the majority of the information uh, we got from CompTIA, uh, they do have resources available uh, that you can use for a pre can presentation. So I did uh, borrow a good chunk of the information, probably 75% from CompTIA. Awesome. And, uh, so I didn't have to think. I think it's a good thing. Just put together a presentation and right. Um, what about. Um, I mean, we did it here in the Microsoft Store. You know, I got some pictures. And, you know, earlier in the video, we talked about this a little bit. Um, what uh, what did it take to put this event on? What was it all? Well, Rob and our marketing director did the majority of it. It was pretty simple. Uh, we just provided some food and took some time with the Microsoft Store. Um, I did a little bit of uh, research uh, in regards to the content. Uh, like I said, I got a bulk of it from CompTIA. Some of it I did find on my own. Um, it was really simple. I probably, of my own time, it was an investment of about two hours of my own time to prepare for it. That's not bad at all. Now, Robin did the bulk of the work. Robin probably put a lot more work into it than I did. She's standing behind the camera, by the way. Hi. <laughs> um, what, what do you think, um, I mean, putting on this kind of an event, what was the, I mean, you talked a little bit about the time, what was the monetary cost? Was the we spent $100 on food, that was it. That was it. So the Microsoft Store let us in. Yep, free. Very cool. And all we had to do was ask. That's all we had to do. Nice. All right. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Very cool. Catch more after this. So clearly there's a lot to be said about doing live events. In the previous video, we got a chance to talk to Paul Barnett. We also got a chance to just kind of look through a little bit about what I have to say on, on doing live events. What I'd like to do is just kind of hear what you guys have done for live events. I think it'd be a great idea to really help the community and really add um, some significant value as a way that you can give back um, to other people that are you know, in our, in our realm here. So um, if you guys have had a chance to do a live event, if you've ever put something together, um, why don't you go ahead and just leave a comment uh, below this video, either on YouTube or on our website, 
and share with us what you've done. I think that it would be really beneficial to everyone. You know, we've kind of shown you a little bit about what we did, and uh, and honestly, you can replicate it too. Microsoft Store. Um, I did not know this until after I put this video together, but they have community managers where you can go out there and you can actually book time in the Microsoft Store. I mean, they obviously want to push Microsoft, but that's really not so bad. You know, you can actually get them to schedule training um, for your customers, bring your customers in and actually offer that as a value add uh, to your service. It's like, hey, you know, we got Microsoft to back us up. And again, you know, we're talking about brand management and expanding your brand. So anyway, just a little bit of uh, extra stuff. Um, go ahead and throw in a comment and just let us know what you've done or what you've thought about doing. Uh, and see if there's something, maybe we can even help each other out a little bit and try to boost our, um, boost what we have going on. So, all right. Uh, once again, Dan with Virtual Administrator. Very excited to uh, be able to put this video together for you and hopefully you've uh, found something that you can use in your own business.